What's up you guys? It's been a long time since I did a video. Going on a year now. Been so busy with lots of other things. Haven't had the time to give you guys the effort you deserve. So here we go. I went to Comic Con on Friday. I picked up some goodies and I'm gonna be reviewing the SDCC raft set by Marvel Legends. My cousin's wife works for a company who gets free tickets and he hooked me up. I live in San Diego too, so it's real nice. I don't have to get a hotel or anything. Okay, so when you buy this thing, it comes as a, as a rectangle. And what you can do is, you come over here and you grab the flaps and there's Velcro on each side here. Pull the flap open here, pull the flap open here, and you can pull this up like that. And there's also Velcro on the other side, so you can stick it right where that other one was. Like this. Like this. You got a really cool display. I mean, I think that looks so cool, I really don't want to even take the figures out, but I've got to take some photographs of Spider-Man, so I'm going to. So let's crack this sucker open and review the figures. I just realized I ripped off Shardimus Prime's phrase when I said crack this thing open. Total uh, subconscious thing there. So I went by the Diamond Select booth and they had a flux capacitor, a life-size flux capacitor with a light-up effect. 400 bucks. I started getting hot sweats when I was considering buying it. So I decided not to. Walked up a couple aisles and I ran into this guy here. Oh snap! Look how cool that is. You know, it's actually a Yahtzee game. It's got dice and everything in here. 2250. I got a flux capacitor for like 5% of what Diamond Select wanted. Yeah, buddy. 1.21 gigawatts. Taking a quick look at the back here. Looks like it's got a bio of each character. Abomination. Enchantress. Oops. You can try to pause it and read that if you care to. Purple Man. Sandman. I love the Toy Biz version of Sandman. I have that one. It's one of my favorite figures. Let's check out the inside. Oh, yeah! Give me those Marvel Legends. <laughs> Only three figures are held in by Twisty Ties. It looks like Abomination, Dread Knight, and Sandman, the bigger guys, are twisted in there. Let's start off with Sandman. And here is the Sandman. He's very cool. Very cool looking figure. He looks like the typical, might even be a new mold. Probably the typical upper body for like uh, Sentry and all those other figures. They look at his back, no hole in the back or anything. He does have peg holes on his feet. Standard articulation, single jointed elbows though. Bicep swivels. The wrist goes up and down and twists. Typical arm joint, shoulder joint, I should say. My head looks down that much. Doesn't look back very far. Looks like he's got a, a gun hand almost. Unfortunately, he didn't come with any extra hands like the Toy Biz version did. Too bad about that. Double jointed knees. Nice ankle pivot. A big ball joint right there. Pretty standard articulation. He's got a ball, ball joint hip. Haven't seen that in a while. A good looking figure. Let's check the size comparison with the Toy Biz Sandman. The Toy Biz version. For me, the Toy Biz version is the most accurate depiction of Sandman I've seen to the comics. I just love him. I mean, he looks exactly like McFarlane drew him in the book. And McFarlane is my favorite artist of all time, so that goes miles for me. 
So he's a little shorter than, he's, I should say the new version is a little taller than the Toy Biz one. And a little thinner also. The, the new version is much beefier and buffer. Definitely don't look like the same person. Hopefully this, the fact that we have this sanded version means that we have a, a green and brown version coming out sometime soon too. That'll be available in a future wave or something. Up next we have Purple Man. And boy is he purple, man. No, I'm just kidding. One thing that was kind of weird is this joint on his elbow here was kind of hard to move and I was afraid I was going to break it so I was taking it, taking it easy with those double joints. It's the exact same mold that was used for the chameleon figure. Buddy. Twinsies. There's a lot of figures that you can use that mold for. J. Jonah Jameson, Tony Stark, etc. What other figures are using this mold right now? Let me know in the comments. Not much to this figure other than that. Typical articulation, just like the chameleon figure. I got the box set for the Spidey. But this guy's pretty cool. Dread Knight is coming up. Now here's the Dread Knight out of the packaging. And I gotta say, I like him a lot more than I did from outside the box. Pretty neat figure. Came with a couple accessories. Um, him and Enchantress are the only ones that came with any accessories. See here, he was kinda had his ear bent by the packaging here. Fix out with the blow dryer, I guess. Um, typical body mold, it looks like Baron Zemo. Had the same body mold, who else? Let me know in the comments who else has the same body mold. Taking a closer look, the cape comes off. Which makes it a lot easier to get out of the package. He was one of the harder ones to get out of the box. I struggled with him for a little while. I like it, he's pretty neat. Hell yeah. I like him a lot. I'm not sure what universe he's from or who his, who his um, nemesis is. I need to do some more research on the character. He was At first, he, he wasn't one of the figures I was excited about, but getting him out of the box, I like him more and more. You see he's got this really cool texture on him. Looks like scales. Like fish scales or chainmail armor or something. Kind of a new cape. I don't think I've seen this cape before. Let's get the big spear and a sword. Peg holes on the feet. He's got that little skirt type thing too. Let's move on to the Enchantress. All right, moving down the line, we have Enchantress. Like many of the female figures, she doesn't balance very well, so she does require some support to pose. I have an Obitsu stand right here holding her up. She's got very good paint detail. They did a good job on the circles on her legs. Looks like the same Black Widow feet. The high heels, making it really hard to stand up. Medusa from the 2014 SDCC exclusive was hard to stand up as well. You had to end up using her hair to prop her up. She's got the same, uh, what do they call it, hex effect as Doctor Strange does here. A different color. Be careful when taking those out of the package too. I felt like I was gonna break them. They were really in there tightly. She's got all the typical articulation of the female figure. She's got an interesting skirt I haven't seen on any other figures yet. She'll probably end up being one of the more valuable figures from this box set. Medusa, I think, sells for almost $80 on her own. I think she's the most valuable figure in that set, or close to it anyway.
I sell these stands on my eBay store along with a set of webs. You get any size webs and these are an additional $5. I don't make any money on these. I just do it to help you guys out. So check it out if you're interested. While supplies last. Now damn look at them titties. This bird was one of the hardest ones to get out of the package. She was really in there and being so dainty, I was afraid I was about to bust her. So take care and get in pulling her out of the plastic. Oh, damn, look at this. It's got a perky little booty, huh? <laughs> Moving right along, this is day two of this lengthy review. I was up till three o'clock recording the other part of this video last night. Moving on to Abomination. This guy is beefy. Kind of flimsy. Seems like see his upper half is kind of wobbly. Makes it kind of interesting to stand. It's a kind of a cool, um, cool sculpt. Looks like he's got the same legs from Rhino. Very similar, exact same mold as Rhino. Actually, different feet. Obviously, same chest, same arm, arms and biceps, same thighs. Looks like he's got some scales or a spine on his back there. A little bit different. I like these big fat figures like this. Let's see what he looks like with some other larger figures. We've got ta -dun, ta -dun, Spider Hulk. Popular figure, my most valuable figure, I believe. We've got ta -dun, Walmart exclusive. Movie Hulk. Let's see what he looks like compared to him. Very similar build. Abomination is actually a little stuck here in the chest area. We've got the thing. Let's see what he looks like next to the thing. Right in the scale of those larger powerhouse characters. Very cool, detailed face. Some spikes on his head. It looks like they put a little bit of work into the sculpting of his shoulders and whatnot. Some scales on the feet too. It'd be nice to have some toe articulation, but oh well. So that's Abomination. I saved the best for last. The quote, Todd McFarlane Hasbro Spider-Man. I don't know if it's a Todd McFarlane version or not. Some people are saying it's a Mark Bagley version head. That's up for debate. There is a McFarlane-esque characteristic to this, but one thing McFarlane does on his Spidey head drawings is he makes the black line even darker than this one, or even thicker, I should say, in the corners. Very cool look to the Spider-Man. I don't know if it's the exact same sculpt as the Pizza Spidey or not. I have him right here. We could take a look. He's strapped with webs already. You know, I don't know. They're definitely different different eyes. But I would say, geez, I don't know. It looks like this new version is a little bit more McFarlane-esque. They're both awesome figures. Looks like the paint color is different too. This SDC C version is darker blue and a redder paint. One thing I don't like about this new Spider-Man, the head on mine is a little bit looser than I would like, but very awesome figure. Taking a closer look, let's look at this back here. Definitely a different spider on the back. As you can see, the new version's a little bit thinner. I don't know, I think I like the new version better actually. I wish it came with some accessories, like some extra hands and maybe an unmasked head and all that stuff. Not sure if they're gonna put this version out as an independent release later on or not. I guess that's always a possibility. So let's put this Spidey up next to several other recent Spideys and see how they compare. We've got Pizza Spidey, SDCC Spidey. Here is Amazing Spider-Man. Who? Let's 
the other one. Here is the dark blue version of the McFarland McFarland. Ta-da! I got this off China, from China, from a Viper's Kingdom. I think most of you know who that is. He sells the bootlegs, quote unquote bootlegs. This is probably an original. Didn't come with the packaging. Did come with the stop sign though. Still got tight joints and everything because I haven't really fucked with them that much. But let's put him up next to the new one. Let's see what we got here. I don't know, what do you guys think? I think the new one's even better, to be honest with you. I mean, the old one over here has the lankier body type, you know. Some people like that. The new version is a little bit more athletic, a little more ripped. Awesome figures. I've got a pretty cool collection of Spideys. I will never pay as much as the red and blue McFarland Spidey costs. People are crazy for paying over $100 for that figure. Someday I'll find a good deal and I'll snag it, but until then, I like my little collection right here. Now I've heard you can swap out the hands for this Spider-Man figure, the new one, with Scarlet Spidey. Unfortunately, the Pizza Spidey's pegs are not the right size, so they won't work. Um, I'm not sure if the Scarlet Spidey has webbing on the hands or not. That's the only reason I haven't tried it. I have one sitting over here somewhere. Let's see. No, unfortunately, there are no webs on these hands. So I don't see why people would use those. Maybe if you wanted to paint them yourself, you could. I don't have that kind of time, unfortunately. Spider-Man party, yeah! Thanks, Artemis. Let's get Spider Hulk up in here too, a Spider-Man party, yeah. So I'm probably about to wrap this up. If you have any questions, um, feel free to leave them in the comments. I'll try to answer them. Sorry, I know there's a lot of popular reviewers that get into all the articulation. You probably know most of the articulation points by now. I just haven't posted a video in a while. I'm really excited about this box set, especially this figure. So I wanted to give you guys a little, a little taste of it. A little up close look for those of you who couldn't make it to Comic-Con. and. If you ordered this set, it may not have arrived yet. Thank you very much for subscribing to my channel. I appreciate all you guys. Uh, I'm gonna try my best to post out, post videos more often. I've been really busy with animation and lots of other projects I've been working on, so please forgive me. I'm gonna post some more Dio tutorials as time permits. If you guys have special techniques you'd like to learn or want me to go a deeper depth over some topics I've covered in previous videos, feel free to leave a comment. Thumbs up, subscribe. Love y'all. Peace.